What's up guys, so in today's video we are going to do the Car 98k only challenge on Black Ops 1 de Ries. Now the rules of this challenge are pretty simple, I'm only allowed to use the following. I'm only allowed to use the Car 98k itself, I'm only allowed to use my knife, I'm allowed to pack a punch the Car 98k and I'm allowed to use grenades. But other than that I can't use any traps can't use any other weapons, I'm not even allowed to use my starting pistol. So this challenge is going to be an absolute nightmare. So here's some nice and fun facts about the Car 98K. First of all, it's obviously a sniper rifle. Second of all, it only does 150 damage. And um, that's not good. Um, it has damage multipliers though, so for the head you get a times 3.75. Torso and limb, however, you only get a 1.7 times multiplier of damage. So yeah, it's not even that great. So the only way I was getting through this challenge is probably knifing the zombies at the beginning of the game and shooting zombies in the head when the knifing gets too much. But oh wait, I was a bit of an idiot when I first started this challenge and I only thought you could use the Car 98K. I did not think you could use grenades or the knife because I thought Car 98K challenge. But silly Ryan googled this after the fact that I played for over an hour. And let's just say I died a lot of times before I realised you could use the knife and grenades. Let's take a look at this wonderful montage of this happening. So as you can see, off to an amazing start, clearly a pro player here. So um, when I was um, finally realising what the challenge was, things got really easy actually. Got to around 100, no problem. That's the end of the video, goodbye. <laughs> oh, I wish because this is not an easy challenge, even with knives, even with grenades. Because let's just say getting this thing pack-a-punched alone is probably the hardest part of this challenge. Because this gun is weak, you don't get any points from using it hardly. And you obviously need to get Juggernaug and Quick Revive to even stand a chance in this challenge. And that's no joke. So basically the reason it's so difficult apart from how weak the gun is in general is well the fact is that the fire rate is extremely slow and the accuracy is not great. Well I'm crap at shooting with this thing because I was missing a bunch of shots all the damn time in this gameplay. But anyway, um, you basically have to shoot zombies in the head by, by round 3 and above because if you don't do that, let's just say you're not hitting those shots anytime soon. This challenge is an app absolute nightmare for it and the amount of times I died just because I missed my shots alone or because the, I was even running slow with the weapon was completely insane and it's an only a two hit system on BO1 or World at War depending on which version you do this challenge it's probably about the same in difficulty but you know what I carried on plowing through anyway and eventually to be honest with you I, I did pretty well I started getting my perks and quick revive and stuff but the mission to pack a punch was insane because I had to use this weapon at its base damage of 150 and took a pack a puncher. Eventually I started getting to the, into the swing of things with this challenge. I started to like train the zombies a bit better and I wasn't having too much difficulty because the early round zombies aren't actually too bad once you get the flow. But then the dog rounds come on and I thought, oh yes, this is going to be really, really easy. I've got no issues whatsoever. These dogs eat these bullets for breakfast and I'm not even exaggerating. I actually had to knife in the first dog round um, eventually because it was like six, seven shots to kill one dog with this thing. And I had no jug in some of these um, some of these ones with the dogs. And let's just say they kill me pretty quickly or you came to, I came close to death several times because they attack very quickly in Black Ops 1. I mean, in World of War, no, it's arguably harder, but in Black Ops 1, they're no easy feat either. With the Car 98K, you've got no chance with the dogs, and yeah, it's a nightmare. Anyway, after many deaths later, and I'm talking many deaths later at this point, um, let's just say I thought, you know what, I've got this now. 
I got the weapon packer punched and I was like, yes, we've got this. We're going to have no issues whatsoever now. Because the Car 98K on the normal zombies, just for a little bit anyway, I mean, a little bit, it was actually pretty good going. You shoot the zombies, shoot them in the head, shoot them wherever, and it was actually a one-shot kill for the most part. I mean, that, because he was pretty piss poor, that's probably why I didn't do as well as I thought I did, and you get what I'm trying to say. But, you know what? The dog glance came on and I thought, you know what? These dogs have got no chance whatsoever, right? I was extremely, extremely wrong. The Pack-A-Punch version is terrible against the dogs. It doesn't make zero difference. You're going to be pelting bullets into these things for ages. So the dog rounds, regardless of if it was Pack-A-Punched or not, were absolute hell once again. And you know what? I wasn't too impressed with this whatsoever. But for the most part, I kind of nailed the dog rounds in the end and I sort of knew how to get through them. But that doesn't stop me from sucking at the game, right? Because um, even the normal rounds have started to give me a bit of trouble. i say about round 11 onwards is where things started to get pretty difficult because the zombies start respawning mid-round as well because um, in World at War zombies... Oh, actually, no, that's a bit of a lie. But in older zombies games, I should say, which is World at War, what am I even talking about at this point? You shoot the zombies and um, 24 zombies are spawning from Nak to um, um, Shino Numa, and that was it, end of the round. But in the Darius uh, version of events, and anywhere in Black Ops 1 onwards in particular, there'd be many, many more zombies. And the problem is, if you train zombies, and let's say I kill two or three of them at a time, more zombies would respawn. Sometimes I get the kill from behind, or they spawn in front of me while I'm trying to run around. And this made the challenge much, 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 much more difficult. And with the slow, very slow time to kill on this weapon, despite being pack-a-punch, yes, you heard me correctly, I did say it was good, but only in the early rounds. It gets garbage pretty fast, and... Let's just say I don't last much longer because when I got to the good old round 14, things just didn't end well for me. I tried my best to train the zombies around, but I kept getting, just kept getting um, surrounded and um, stuck and all the rest of it. And to be quite honest with you, the weapon was really not doing very well. It's probably a way of me getting to around 20 plus on this if I've really, really tried with it. But I was I had no patience for it at this point. I've been playing for over three hours on constant restarts and re-attempts. And it just wasn't worth it anymore. So yeah, I got to round 14. Here's sort of like my final last stand, if you like, as you can see in, on the gameplay here. And yeah, I mean, I could have done a lot better. But I don't think, unless you've, if you've never used this weapon, do not ever use it you may think it might have been the strongest weapon ever because it's a 200 weapon and it might surprise you you will be very very sorely mistaken this thing is garbage and on dog rounds never use this on dog rounds you won't last two minutes unless you've really got a strategy nailed down you've done stupid amounts of three attempts like i did so yeah that's the car 98k challenge do not try this at home it's an absolute no 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 just no um and just don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good day peace out